or 3.30 a.m. July 1st in the 5800 block of Falkirk Road. The mother-in-law of a 33-year-old man she describes as suffering from paranoid schizophrenia calls 911 for help. All right, now, is he violent? Um, I guess, I, I guess, um, like possibly or likely yes. or possibly, oh, uh, does he have a weapon? Um, that I don't know. When police arrived, the caller told police that the man had been involved in an incident on June 20th where he ran around the neighborhood naked while shooting at cars. Police say a gun registered to the man was recovered at that time and that the person received a mental health evaluation. Because police could not confirm whether the man was armed this time around, three officers went inside as part of a safety sweep. How are these people, police officers, how did they get in here, yo? I didn't call these people. They got on masks. Your family called The man seems confused as officers were let into his basement. How y'all get here? How all these people get here when I invite them to my house, yo? These people are in my house illegally. I told you the family called. Sheriffs are here, yo. The family called. Shots are here, you. yo. Y'all about to kill me in real life on camera. As police tried to talk the man out of the basement, he pulls out a handgun, aims at an officer, and is shot. 1,500 of our officers, including these three, have been trained in uh, three different behavioral health training programs offered by the BPD. I do think the situation could have um, maybe gone better if a mental health professional was present. Adrian Bridenstine with Behavioral Health System Baltimore, which is currently working with city police, says this incident highlights the work that needs to be done. This is incident represents a total system failure of um, the behavioral health system, but also just the how our community responds to these types of crises in general. Now, the officers involved had between one and three years experience on the force each. The man who was shot again is in stable condition and is being charged with assault. Police also recovered eight firearms from his residence. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL. TV 11 News.